Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, we took Starling out on his very first big adventure, and he really surprised little Pennycat. I figured that he was going to be a little bit more quiet and reserved, maybe always working hard on his different art projects, but he has actually proven himself to be quite the capable warrior. Not only did he take care of the bats down in the mines, but he also destroyed his enemies in these territory skirmishes. So I mean, Penny doesn't have to worry so much about her kittens anymore, because clearly they can hold their own. Clearly she and Scout have taught them very well. But since last time, I did take care of the summer festival, so as promised, I made sure to purchase some extra little decorations for our den. We now have this lovely rug right in the front that I guess we can kind of like wipe our paws on when we come in from a hard day's work. She bought an extra power paw with her tokens too. And now with all of those mews that we gathered up, we're building our very final den upgrade. So hopefully within the next day or two, we'll be able to decorate this room for Piper and Raven, just like we're doing for Starling and Finch over here. We have, of course, Starling's projects, and Finch is hard at work making licorice root forts for his frogs and his toads. And speaking of which, we have some little gifts to offer up to our kittens, like the blue jay. Oh my goodness, Raven, you are going to be so shocked to learn that uh, we actually didn't catch this for you. It was all Starling. Whoa, is this for me? I want to know where you got it. Well, Raven, you just have to talk to your brother. I'm sure he would know exactly where you can find some more of them to test your own abilities. He is going to have to be the one that you go to for pointers from here on out. I bet she would be just like Penny anyway, wanting to become a master huntress, and she'd be feeling even more inspired now that she knows that her brother was able to best her in hunting. The leaves are so pretty. Do you think there are other color leaves from other color trees out there somewhere? Oh, so she even wants to collect tons of different colors of leaves too. Very, very interesting. I'm actually surprised that we can't find any like little fallen leaves to bring back to the den. That would be a super cute thing for us to uh, decorate our den with in the fall time. Something specific to the season, when the trees turn all of those beautiful different colors. Let's see how Piper is doing today too. Kinda cold out today, isn't it? Well, I bet she's going to uh, stay nice and toasty warm inside her nest then. Something tells me she would probably enjoy the colder seasons, like winter, because it's so quiet outside at that time, but also because she can stay nice and cozy in her den. Now I wanted to see if Starling would actually enjoy the gemstones as a gift. Since he loved going mining with us so much, we might as well see if this is something he enjoys. Thanks, I like the pattern on this. It's got some pretty colors. Oh, I think that's actually what he said when we gave him the fireflies before. So it sounds like he's probably going to use that in all of his art projects too. That makes sense though. The gemstones would certainly bring a little extra shine to anything he's hoping to create. So let's see uh, if he has anything new to say. Have you ever tried to make a big painting out of stuff you find laying around? Like a mosaic or something? I think I'm going to try to make one. Oh cool! We actually brought back a ton of different like rock debris and stuff. I bet that's what he's going to use then. Very, very interesting. So he truly was inspired by uh, all of the different things that we saw in his adventure. And hello, little Finch. Ready for an adventure? I'd love to tag along. Oh, he knows that today is going to be all about him. He's the last one of our kittens who needs to see the outside world with his own eyes. I know that he's super excited. He's probably felt a little bit left out, actually. He is the firstborn of the litter, so you would think that he would be the first one to open his eyes, the first ones to get his footing in the world, but instead he has just had to listen to all of the stories. Let's talk to him too before we go. I hope I can make lots of friends when I grow up. Oh, well maybe you can if you decide to take on a colony of your own someday. And that's actually where I'm planning on uh, bringing you today, little guy. We'll just have to munch on a little bit of breakfast ourselves, and then of course give Scout his breakfast. 
Oh, we can't forget about this. He would be so very jealous if we gave all of our kittens all of those gifts, but we forgot to give him his own breakfast too. But yeah, Finch, I actually wanted to take you toward this pathway of ours that leads straight up toward the highlands, the special little highland lake. I feel like he would really enjoy the highland area, mostly because there's lots of different berries up there. We know that he has his sweet tooth, he loves his berries, so I bet he'll really enjoy just uh, wandering around and getting to know the area. But Ember, we have one last kitten for you to meet. Hey Penny, what's the worst kind of cat? Oh well that would be a catastrophe of course. And you know, I bet Finch is going to be your number one fan, Ember. Something tells me that he's really going to enjoy all of your little jokes. Maybe he'll even come up with some of his own. But more than that, I think he's going to enjoy hearing all of Mare's stories about how he came to found the forest colony, maybe. It seems you found your place in the forest colony successfully. It has been a delight to watch you grow. Our community is made much better by your involvement here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a great friend and such a grand neighbor. Oh, that is so sweet, Mare. That's really nice for Penny to hear every now and then. It's not like she needs any rewards for helping out her colony, of course, but knowing that she's appreciated around here is definitely going to give her a boost of confidence. I happened upon a spare black hair this morning, thought maybe you could use it. It's yours now, have a good one, Penny. Thank you very much. I think we might actually save that for a scout tomorrow, if Finch can't manage to catch a little meal himself anyway. You are amazing, Penny. Oh, Sarge, thank you very, very much. Flattering us, as always, in front of our little kittens. And you know, Missy, we're actually going to leave Amethyst with you today because we want to take uh, Ruby out with Finch. So I hope you won't mind watching after our little butterfly. Finch has a soft spot for Ruby the ladybug. So we'll see if we can find anything special by taking her around with us. Now I know you must be super, super eager to get off into the world and uh, discover all of your new things, but we have one more little kitty to talk to. Lyris, the most poetic of all the cats. Been forever since I've seen any catnip growing around the forest. Oh, Lyris, I think you're in luck. We seem to be like his personal catnip dealer lately, but I do actually have some catnip in my inventory. So here you go, Lyris. I hope this will help you come up with many, many different stories, especially now that the fall time has rolled around and we know how much you love this season. But all right, Finch, I think we might be ready to get to work now, ready to finally set off on your very first journey. So we have plenty of lavender with us too, which will help us continue to build our pathways and help show Finch how we've made such a safe place for him to wander. But first, let's see if we can test his hunting abilities. We'll scoot on down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Finch, I don't think you're going to be able to catch a blue jay. I mean, your very first bird. Yeah, that one is definitely getting away. One of the rarest birds in the forest. That has to be a good sign, though, that the first prey we saw was a blue jay. Well, maybe something up here will be a little bit easier. Oh, well, that one's a dove. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't know that he could actually catch doves. Usually when the kittens only have one level, they only seem to be able to catch the mice. But Finch has proven me wrong. And now we can gather up all of these delicious blackberries to offer you up as a treat for your success. We'll go ahead and munch on a few too to make sure we're in tip-top shape because I do believe that the next battle should be right over on the side here. Yeah, this is our very first territory skirmish. So this place is particularly important, Finch, because it's right by the sacred temple and we have to keep that safe. We have our heal allies ability ready, so just in case he gets a little bit too injured, we should still be able to heal him. And it looks like he's getting pretty hurt already, so we'll heal him from behind as he finishes off the job. Oh my gosh, and you look like a little twin of Finch. Hello, Elaine. Unfortunately, we can't talk to her. It looks like she's kind of frozen over here. Oh, there we go. Before you uh, scoot off, 
I want to see if I can get to know you. She must be another member of Scout's family. Do you smell something strange in the air? Well, no stranger than the complete twin of my own kitten that I'm seeing before my eyes. This is very peculiar. Do you think maybe that's a sign from the forest guardian then? The other cats don't know about them, so maybe that's what's putting them on edge. But let's see if Finch has any luck with this toad over here. Your very favorite meal. Yes, of course. You've been practicing on all the toads that I bring you home. Of course you would know how to catch a big juicy toad for yourself. You know, let's make sure that we give him the uh, miracle too. I do see that he's still a little bit injured from that previous battle, so if we're going to go up into the highlands, we need to make sure that he is fully prepared. Now this is another super important area for him to know, and since Penny spends so much of her time in the sacred temple anyway, I feel like naturally her kittens would find this to be a pretty good play spot. All of this stuff is uh, pretty well under our control. Penny has made sure to keep the immediate area around the sacred temple very close to the heart of the forest colony. So they shouldn't have to worry if they want to play around, because most of the enemy cats will stay away, as long as the mountain domain doesn't hear about it at least. So our goal is to travel to the northeast portions of the map. That's where the highlands are located, and I know you're going to love this place. It's actually farther away than we've really taken any of our other kittens before. Uh, we still have more little guards patrolling the area as Finch goes flying for Valerian. He must have heard from his siblings how important it is for us to use the Valerian to get around quickly. That way, if we do want to get up into the highlands before the sun sets, we can do so with ease. But are you ready for your next battle, little guy? because we have another one directly above us. So stay behind us, okay? We'll use our heal allies ability if we need to. Is he still on the screen? Oh no, he's up there in that big battle. Okay, it looked like he went diving straight off the screen for a moment. I'm a bit surprised, in fact, that he hasn't uh, gained a level yet like his brother did. I hope that doesn't mean that he's glitched too, just like his sisters. I feel like that's the only reason why they had some trouble. They would have been right on par with Starling otherwise. But Finch is still doing very, very well, all things considered. So I think we're ready to take you up toward the Highland Lake. We'll just go ahead and spread some of this lovely lavender around the Highland West, so we'll make sure it's under our control again. That's typically how Penny Cat takes control of these tiles and there is still plenty of lavender to find in the highlands too. This place is just so beautiful. There's something really unique about the highlands. Can you get it, Finch? Ah, oh, there you go, you got the bunny and you're even level one. Okay, I guess I spoke too soon. You are actually gaining your experience. It's just taking a little bit longer than it did for Starling, I guess so the bats must be like the ultimate training partners. But there's some catnip up there, which it seems you are very, very eager to collect for us. Excellent, so we'll take that home too. Oh, and you get to uh, glimpse some of the little gifts that we've left around here for one of you kittens to take. As soon as we figure out who is going to be the leader of their own colony. Oh my gosh, Finch. You are so good at scooping up the bunnies. Yeah, he might be a pretty good cat to take this area on. He even has little blackberries to pick up here too, which we know are some of his favorite snacks. Can you get this mouse over here? Oh my gosh, you are so good at hunting. That is really going to put Penny's mind at ease. Here's some of that lavender I was talking about too. He doesn't seem too interested in picking that up himself but it's probably because Penny has this area under control already. So since it's getting so late, let's actually head back now. I don't think uh, there's too much left for us to collect, aside from this little mouse, of course. One last mouse. Can you catch that one? Oh no, he's getting a little bit too tired. So let's return to the den. Make sure you have time to curl up with all of your siblings, of course. And then Penny can get some good sleep too. 
because I think we'll probably go back into the mountains again tomorrow. So Finch, go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, look at him. He passed out right outside of his nest again. The poor thing is just so, so exhausted from all of those adventures, but he is doing an excellent job so far. So let's go ahead and curl up to sleep. And then I am curious to see if the den upgrade is going to be ready because I know that I uh, set it up quite a few days ago and I think it might be. We can go up through the uh, garden. Oh my gosh, Piper is going to love this. She has easy access to the garden from her own special room. That is absolutely adorable. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how we're going to decorate your rooms. I know Piper would absolutely love some special shells, some snake lilies to store away for a rainy day. Raven's going to love to collect all of the different rare birds. You know, we have a lot of work to do. But I think we actually have a little dragonfly for you, Raven. We'll go ahead and drop this off with you first. That's cool. How far did you have to go to find this? All the way to the Highlands, Raven. You're going to be so proud of your brother. He did a really, really good job yesterday. We might not have any shells for you today, Piper. And no snake lilies either. But we do have some lovely valerian. And we know that you always appreciate it. And then one of the leftover butterflies of summer for you, Starling. One of the very last ones that we've kept in our pockets. So I hope you're going to treat it well. I was going to use this scallop in an art project. Oh my gosh, is this our first gift from our kittens? But it turns out I don't need it. Here, it's yours now. Oh, Starling, is this actually a gift for Piper though? I mean, you just heard us say that we didn't have any gifts for her, any shells rather to give her today. Very, very interesting. So it sounds like Starling is already making his way all around the world all by himself. I guess uh, Scout is willing to let them go a bit farther. Now that they know their way around the world, he's not so scared to let them out of his sight. Now I was going to give you Doc's gift today, but I think instead we're going to give you the rabbit that a finch caught. He is doing an excellent job hunting down bunnies. And then last but not least, did I pick up that emerald by accident? Oh my goodness, Scout. We'll have to put this back because we don't want to steal our kitten's decorations. Instead, we want to give Finch this lovely toad to make sure that he's nice and full for yet another adventure. So would you like to come along with us again? Sounds great. Where are we off to? Well, it's a place that you know very, very well by now. We'll just have to go ahead and munch on some of our own berries so we don't go hungry in the process. It is such an awful day, though. I bet Ember is probably not enjoying it too much. Hey, Penny, I got you a gift. It's a marigold. I hope you like it. It's all yours. Have a good one, friend. Thank you so much. We could actually use this to hopefully fight our battles because it looks like the mountain domain is trying to push back into the highlands now now that they've heard that our kittens are wandering freely there. So we have a good deal of work ahead of us today, Finch. But you are the Mountain King. I don't think you'll have uh, too much to worry about. You can catch all the bunnies up there. You have berries to scoop up left and right. But yeah, we'll go ahead and sell off the catnip that we found yesterday. That way we can use the extra funds to keep your siblings healthy, especially if we need to come to dock again in the future. My favorite color is orange and it has been for quite some time now. Oh, how funny that Ember just gave us a marigold. The same ones that you love so much. I hope the fog isn't going to be too much of a nuisance for you, Sarge. No, he seems happy. In good spirits as always, just to see Penny knocking on his door. And Missy, too, is hoping that we could maybe laze around the territory together. But unfortunately, we have work to do today. You know, it might be a little bit easier for Penny to take a load off once her kittens do decide to take on the Highlands. That way, it won't be all up to her to keep the balance strong anymore. But first and foremost, Finch, let's go take care of those battles. You're all nice and healed now. You have a little bit of extra health to work with, too. So it should be even easier for us to push those cats out of our territory. Piper got herself familiar with the different herbs of the forest on her adventure. With the beach too and the shells that she loves so much. 
Raven got herself very familiar with the unfortunate side effects of battling, and Starling learned a lot about the mines. But Finch is the first of our kittens to truly go patrolling with us, and to learn how important it is to make sure that there are no cracks in our defense. These are all very, very important things for a future leader to potentially understand. Oh, and look at all these trees, all these different colors of leaves. You're like, I wish we could just pick these up off of the ground and bring them back to our den. Show them off to Raven because we know that she would really, really love them. But I think we're getting super close to the battles now. Just a couple more of these tiles to go. And because we are on the fringe, there is the possibility that the enemies could come charging at us instead. So we have to watch our back, okay? Oh my gosh, he's getting distracted with all of these delicious berries. Well, thank you very much, little guy. We have quite the collection now, so we won't have to worry about going hungry. But let's head on over to battle number one and see if your extra little level is going to do you well when it comes to taking care of these cats. Oh my goodness, these are a little bit more tough today, aren't they, little guy? Good thing we had our heal allies skill at the ready. Yeah, he definitely took a good amount of damage there. That was a little bit more scary than some of our other battles, but at the same time, you did an excellent job. So I think he should be ready to charge into the second one too. And by the time we get up there, our heal ally skill should be ready again. That's why it's such a good idea to upgrade these things. And speaking of a witch, can we possibly upgrade it again? Oh yeah, we have more than enough skill points to uh, maybe consider upgrading our cooldown time yet again. I am very curious to see how many levels we can actually upgrade this by, because it does seem to go past five. Oh no, the skill is already at max rank. It has not been upgraded. Okay, so five is the highest that we can go. So we've now fully upgraded our diplomacy skills too. Very interesting to know. So we might as well just upgrade our deep cuts for now because that one is also quite helpful in battle. We'll go ahead and set that up at level three so we can keep it as a little trick in our back pocket. The lavender is growing back in the highlands too. Very, very good to see. So after we charge into this next battle, Maybe it would be a good idea for us to try to take over a little bit more territory. We can show Finch how we uh, sneak into the mountain domain and chip away at their influence. But first, let's get rid of all of these cats. Yeah, there are quite a few more up here, and that's because they have the reinforcements to spare. But our kitten has reached level 2, so Finch has nothing to fear. He can just tear through all of these cats with Romeo at his side. Ouch, I think I just stepped on a thorn. Oh, watch where you're going, little guy. Finch, you better watch out too. This would be a long way for Penny to carry you back all the way to the den. Imagine that, felling all of your enemies and then getting completely taken out of commission just by a tiny little thorn. But we might as well use our lavender here at the Lone Sentinel. Is it this where Leo goes or is it the uh, tile above us? It might actually be the one up here the one that's locked to the mountain domain, yet the Sentinel Woods. I'm sure he's not going to be too happy that we're sneaking around his Sentinels anyway. Yup, clearly not. Clearly he is not happy that we're trying to take his Sentinels away from him. All right, Finch, we better be on our best behavior as we wander through this place. Be on our best guard because even though we're close to our territory, we don't want to get ambushed. This is something that he's going to have to put up with quite a bit, if he does decide to take on the Highland Lake himself, because we know that the Mountain Domain is not going to let him take control of that place easily. They're going to be knocking on his door every single day. But I mean, Finch the Mountain King, I think he's going to be able to handle it. Let's see if we can find any more little bunnies maybe for him to hunt. Anything up here that he can pounce on? We have some herbs on this map. Oh my gosh, a black hair. Yeah, try your hand at that one, little guy. Those are usually a bit trickier. Oh yeah, that one darted straight off into the mountains. We might be able to catch it if it gets stuck on the rocks. But otherwise, there we go. Oh my goodness, you pinned it down. Good thing we followed it, Finch. I swear it's like he knows this area better than Penny even does. 
Well, let's grab those blackberries too. I bet you're eyeing those up. And some extra little marigold to keep you well healed. We'll go ahead and use that right now just in case. Because again, I'm always a little bit nervous that the mountain domain is going to come barreling in when we least expect it. This is far too close to their territory for comfort. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll let him grab up what he wants to because it does give him the extra experience. And it doesn't surprise me at all that he seems to prefer the berries. So while Raven strikes me as a kind of lone rogue adventurer who would want to just explore as much as she can out of the world, and while Starling would probably prefer just a cozy little colony, a place where he can keep all of his projects safe and gather up tons of inspiration, I think Finch might be the right one for the job of leader. He's already said that he wants to make lots and lots of friends when he grows up. And he seems to really enjoy hunting down these bunnies, of course. He's so good at it too, chasing it straight into the trees. Oh my goodness, Penny is having trouble catching up to it though. He has plenty of berries up here to keep himself full. He already knows the lay of the land thanks to all of our patrolling. Yeah, I think uh, Penny might really be considering giving this area to Finch, seeing if maybe the Forest Guardian would be willing to transfer those mystical powers to our strong Mountain King. The big day is drawing super, super close now. So we'll send Finch off to bed. We'll have him go get some sleep. And Penny is going to be thinking long and hard about the future of her kittens. The future of herself, too. Like I said, this is really going to give her the break that she needs because she won't have to restore the balance all by herself. She knows that her kittens are going to be able to carry on that task and that she can pass the torch without fear. So in due time, we'll be watching the adventures of her kittens instead. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!